Hey everybody, my name is Adam and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Origins. In the last part, we were collecting a bunch of the... Uh, I was about to say Elder Scrolls stuff, but that's definitely not right. We were collecting a bunch of Enigma data packs where we are trying to find Riddler and also complete the game as close to 100% as possible. We probably won't actually make the 100% completion rate, but we are getting as close as we can. So in this part, we are... Uh, Wait a minute. I feel like I know this. Let's see. Anyways, uh, so in this part we're going to try and find... That's weird. That's a pretty picture. Um, trying to find all the Enigma packs. So, in today's episode I decided to explain a couple of things. Like, hey, look at that. Like, what I do in my normal life, which, if you watch this, I hope you do, but what I do in my life outside of YouTube is miscellaneous jobs. So, um, my main source of income, I work with Parks and Recreation, and I've been working there for almost two years, and we... And that's where I get most of my money. So that's where I pay my bills and all that jazz. And honestly, I really dislike the job. It's politics and terrible, like, workmanship. Not not that it's a bad job. Not that it's a bad paying job. I, the money's good for what I do. But it's to the point of I'm bored with it. It's monotonous and very... Repetition is the key word for that job, and I can't stand repetition. Which is strange, considering I like video games so gosh dang much. Because video games can be some of the most, uh... Yeah, I can dash right into there. Um, video games are the most, like, repetitive types of media of all time, and I enjoy them so very, very much. Hey, look at that. That's cool. What if I... That was a lot easier. Hmm. Maybe I can do that for the one up there. You know what? Since we're over here, let's try it. Um, yeah, so my job's super repetitive, and I don't enjoy it as much as I did two years ago, so I'm trying to change that, and the way I plan on doing that is by switching to, or going to college and getting a certificate of achievement in theater arts, which I love a lot more than anything else. We talk... Oh my gosh, shut your mouth. Um, I enjoy doing the tech work for theater. Anything in theater, actually. And I'd be more than glad to, like, fucking just do anything with it. And so that's what I plan on doing. I, I'm honestly in love with the job already. Because... Hang on. Don't give a shit. No. So, I'm going soon to college to learn about theater arts and uh, how to properly... Uh, ooh, what's the best word to put it? There! That's all I had to do. That was... Okay. That was a lot easier than normal. Or a lot easier than... Whatever. Fuck me. Yeah! So... I'm also... Besides getting the actual, like, degree or certificate, whatever you want to call it, I'm already working in a theater where I am the assistant stage manager, and I just work and help one of my buddies, who's my boss, 
out, and it's it's fun job. I I honestly really really like it. It's a thousand times better than any gosh dang job I would ever have. Uh, why don't we try this? Because what it is is you work on one thing for six weeks, and then after that, it. Wait. Sorry. Need to concentrate real fast. You work on something for six weeks, and then after the six weeks are up, you... Do I just go this way? How about up and over? After the six weeks are over, you can uh, just like start over again. That's how long the shifts last. It's not the same thing over and over again. It's the same methods, but you're creating something different every six weeks. And I like that. I love that type of work. It's slightly different, but with the same assets that I've learned over time. And that's what I want to do. So there we go. And then the third thing, that I have is Let's Play, and you know what, Ramon, Ramon brought up a good point. I produce a lot of content. Maybe not as much as some of you guys who do Let's Plays and uh, make way more content than me. I mean, good for you, dude. I'm, I'm sad that if you're like stressing out about it all, I'm sorry that happens to you, but it does happen to the best of us. supposed to hmm. Who's down there uh man I am just stumbling over my words I produce enough content so that I can actually keep it up ah oh, there it is so I can keep up my that's a weird sound my channel so that it looks like it's well done but I record maybe once or twice a week and I just batch record it and that's the only way I can actually succeed with the holiday season coming up and just in general everything that has happened to me so there's some tips if you want it but it also helps if you're single like if you have a super supportive significant other good on you mate I would love to have that but I can't. Not because I'm a terrible person. Just because I don't want to date anyone. I There's a lot of stupid people out there. A lot of stupid people. And I would be very angry if I dated any of them. Okay. Where the hell am I supposed to turn this on? Which is main reason why I don't enjoy dating because you have to deal with fucking emotions which is stupid and dumb I hate dealing with that ever if I if I never had to deal with it I would be in love with just you know the relationship but that's not the case you have to take it into account for emotions and all that So, being single helps, along with, l along with just, you know, liking video games in general. If you're playing a video game that you really hate, and you're just like, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, then don't do it anymore. If you have a huge subscriber base, I'm going to say huge is about 100,000, and you start playing a game and then you just quit. You're not going to get a lot of people... What the hell? Oh, there's three gates. You're not going to get a lot of people to enjoy your content if you just give up. Oh, so... Getting calls about a disturbance. Oh my god, shut up. Um, man, I am terrible... I'm terrible with coming up with the words on the yeah, spot because I have a terrible vocabulary. 
if you have a big subscriber base, continue doing bad games. But if you have maybe a thousand subscribers, let's just say a thousand, okay? Let's say you're that popular. I mean, good on you. If you have a thousand subscribers and you're playing a game that you just absolutely hate, don't continue it. There's no point to continue it. I mean, I... There are games that I do want to play, and I know I'm going to hate them, but I do it... But if I'm going to do that, I do it with a friend. I don't just do it alone and give up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just... Here we go. Okay. I hate... I hate fighting and talking, mainly because I get distracted. Down the ninja. I feel like, well, I know for a fact, if I get up to 100,000 subscribers, I'm not counting on it. At this point, I have been doing it so long that I'm gonna do this more as a hobby for fun than ever try to make it a career. There's no way I can get that popular that fast. I mean, if I continue doing this, I'd I'd love to. I. I enjoy doing this as a hobby. This is the funnest way I get to have uh, video game playing. Like, sometimes I just play video games for the sake of playing a video game, and it's not as fun because I can't, like, record the experience of, wow, what? And I don't overreact as much because I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's fucking glitched out. That's, that's cool, whatever. Oh, haha, ha, that's cool. That's how I would react in a video game. That's normally... That's normally how anyone would react in a video game. But when I'm talking, I'm more than willing to overreact over something because it makes it comedic. I don't like being comedic. Comedic's funny. Comedic makes people laugh. Life lesson of the day. Adam is murdered. wonder what the hell did I do? No. Okay, so it says it's right there. Where's right there? Can't be right there. Says it's here. Now I gotta play the finding game. I hate it when they're hidden. It's my least favorite. Hmm. See, it says it's here. Shit. Okay, fuck it. I'll I'll leave it. Doesn't even matter. I'll come back for a guide with it. Cause it's there's certain points where I just want to give up. Oh god. That's my last playing guide. Uh -huh. 
forever. Alright, more Enigma packs! Hooray! I feel like I should do a mission this round. I haven't done any side missions. I've just been collecting. You know what? That's cool and all. It's just... It takes a while. Other side. How do I? So do I just go like this? Yes, I can. Sweet. See, this is how I normally would play video games, but I would be saying these things in my head more than out loud. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. By terrifying, I mean. God damn it, Batman. Okay, fine. I'll learn my lesson. Jeez. You don't have to make me look like a fool, game. I'm kidding. You absolutely do. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud to call you my son. One, two, three. You know, I feel like in Batman games, when they are totally oblivious to Batman, like, choking out their friend behind them, it may not be realistic. Oh my gosh, a comic book game that isn't realistic. Oh, what, oh my gosh. You guys. Well, I just... There's a huge difference between the realism in between comic books and just in general. But then there's stupid realisms. Realistic whatevers. I wonder if that's a lot of the distortion packs. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother with that, so. There it is. See? Perfect. Didn't even have to go over there. I just did it from there. I want some realism in Batman. I want to feel immersed into there. And when I can just, like, blatantly stand right in front of a guard and just choke out his friend, that's not... That's kind of the realism that I don't want. Oh, God, you are... Asshole. I'm coming after you. Stop. Please stop. Well, at least I got it. Alright, now back to whatever that was. Where it is. There it is. Okay. Now we head over this way to do whatever we're doing. I'm not entirely... Oh, there it is. Get it? Nice. Nice. See, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really did like the Batman Arkham Origins story. I really did. But it's stuff like this that just make me uneasy about a game. Wait, what am I doing? Network relay. I didn't even see that. Is 
that easy? Alright, fine. I will take it. I will definitely go after that guy who says, Oh, I know stuff about the Riddler. Yeah, he's a fucking, he's a fucking twat. Is one of these guys? You know what? I'm gonna assume it's one of these guys. Cause that would be cool. It isn't. Definitely not one of them. Maybe on this side. Maybe it's one of these four guys. No, it's not. Maybe it's one of those three guys. Yes, it is. Oh, really? You smell a bat? What made you smell that? Wano? <laughs> oh, man, Adam, why are you single? Oh, no reason at all. Like, I don't even know why ladies don't like me. Alright, come here, Enigma, whatever you guy name is. Boop. Got the information out of you. Just from your eyes. <laughs> 